when he said we've got the message and we, we yeah we, we 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 hear it loud and clear um and i think for him to say that he knows arsenal are right on our heels now so Hey everybody, welcome to the channel Ego Talks Football. Today we're going to be discussing a very interesting comment made by Manchester City defender and captain Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker recently spoke to Sky Sports and he spoke about the Premier League title race and how Manchester City and Arsenal's gap has closed. And he feels like Arsenal are much closer to Manchester City than they ever were before. And that has been, been proven by this title race that ended it with just two points away from Manchester City come the final day of the season. Of course, two points is a lot when it comes to trying to win a league title. That's the difference between not winning and losing. But of course, the gap between Arsenal and Man City has never been closer. And we're going to deep dive into his full comments and everything that he said. But just so you guys know, what he was referring to in this video was Pep Guardiola's previous video the other day before the final game of the season. This was it. Let me just play it for you guys. For the future. Arsenal give you the message and we take it. Do you so, expect them to continue being your closest challengers? There is, I have a few certain things in my life, <laughs> like is I wake up in the morning and I'm going to sleep in the night. <laughs> this is going to happen. So there you go. Pep Guardiola is saying Arsenal is going to be there and thereabouts for the foreseeable future in the title races. And just to show you guys how much Arsenal closed the gap in the time that Mikel Arteta yeah, has joined, you can see here, this was the end of the 17-18 season, the Centurion season. We were like almost 40 points uh, away from them. Then you go to 18-19 uh, season, as you can see there, we've gotten 70 points. They got 98, still a large chasm between the two teams. Then this season here, we, we regressed in that 19-20 uh, season. You can see there we finished eighth. Then you have the season where these are the seasons since Pep has been in the charge, of course. Then you can see here, 86 points from Man City, 60 points from Arsenal. The gap is slowly starting to close. 69 points, 93, still the same difference in gap. But the last two seasons has been a dramatic change. As you can see here, 84 points to 89. There's still quite a difference between the two teams as they ran away with the title last season. But this season lasted until the final day of the season. As you can see, Arsenal are now neck to neck with Man City and Liverpool are a little bit of ways as before you'd see Liverpool and City at the top of the table. Just to show you guys how the gap has dwindled away. Now, let's before we go to Kyle Walker's uh, points, from a City perspective, of course, he's referring to Pep Guardiola's relentlessness and pursuit of, key, uh, uh, of pushing City to win and continuously having the potential to come back into a title race. It doesn't matter how many points difference they are. They just go on a ridiculous run come the end of the season. They always find a way to win. As for Arsenal... We need to strengthen. And the reason why we need to strengthen and how we need to strengthen is based on the income that we've made this season. This season, Arsenal have made a ridiculous amount of money. Let me just show you guys what I mean. For all the people who hate watched Arsenal, thank you because it's earned Arsenal a lot of money. Arsenal are estimated to earn a record $147.7 million this season due to the Premier League prize money payments and revenue distributed in addition to that arsenal are going to receive another 91 million uh 91.28 million in prize money from the the quarterfinal re uh, reaching the quarterfinals of the champions league which is a record amount of prize money in the club's history this is massive for arsenal football club as this could help us massively in the summer and this could be a very very big summer ahead for arsenal football club to further close that gap with Manchester City. But before we go any further, let me just play the clip of what Manchester City captain Kyle Walker said about Arsenal closing the gap to with Man City. I think what the manager said after the interview um, on on Sky the other day, when he said, we've got the message and we, we yeah, yeah. We, 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 we hear it loud and clear. Um, and I think for him to say that, he knows Arsenal are right on our heels now. So either we need to up our game a little bit more um, or Arsenal need to fall off a little bit. But, you know, the, the gap's getting closer each year. It's getting closer. And um, we need to, you know, probably 
extend that gap to give herself a little bit of breathing space. But that's down to, you know, the manager, the club, the organisation, who they feel is the right person to bring in, not bring in, you know, whatever they want to do to make sure that we can extend that gap would be, you know, much appreciated. Mm. So, Pep, please help us. <laughs> <laughs> Very tongue-in-cheek, but one thing I will say is Kyle Walker knows that Arsenal is here and they're here to stay. And Man City are going to have to do a lot more than what they did this season to try to stay ahead of Arsenal and to try to stay ahead of us. Because, of course, with the age of our players and the squad, you can see that there is a lot of growth and potential of growth in this team. Just look at, just look at our final match day squad, for example. We didn't even have Bukayo Saka in the team. You have Ben White, who's how old? 26. You have William Saliba, how old? 23. You have Gabriel Magalis, how old? 26. Right? You have Tommy Asu, who's in the team, who's 25. People forget how young he is. Martin Odegaard, 25. Right? Let me actually show you guys what I'm looking at right here, so you guys can so you guys can go with me. Thomas Partey, of course, is one of the elder statesmen in the team, but you have Declan Rice, 25. Leandro Trussard, 29. Probably one of the elder statements. Kai Havertz, people forget how young Kai Havertz is also. He's another one who's young, 24 in Kai Havertz. And Gabriel Martinelli, who's 22. And then you go to the bench and you look at some of the options that we have off the bench. Timber making his, de uh, making his second debut in the Premier League, who didn't really get to play much. He's 22 himself. He barely played uh, the whole entire season due to injury. And it just goes to show you, like, of course, we can we can run through all all the all the players, and of course, we also have a very good young manager in Mikel Arteta. And just to show you guys how scarce the managerial pool is out there right now, and you got Bayern Munich about to hire none other than Vincent Company. Yes, Vincent Company is about to become the Bayern Munich manager. Vincent Company is about to become the Bayern Munich manager, and this Arsenal team. We have ourselves uh, one hell of a coach, one hell of a manager in Mikel Arteta. We cannot lose him. We cannot afford to lose him. And also, this upcoming summer is going to be massive. But the amount of money that Arsenal just made uh, in the up in the previous season, in addition to the player sales that we can make off of these players, for example, you have just just for player sales alone. Just look at some of the players we could sell. We have Ramsdale, who's quoted forty five million, thirty for Eddie. Uh, 30 to 20 for ESR, 20 for Reese Nelson. We're going to have to get rid of him on a free. Tabara, 7 million. Tyranny, 10. The Conga, we could make uh, over 140 plus on just these players alone. That's So that's with the 170, the 90, we could have 200 million transfer budget plus easy this upcoming window before, uh, before sales. And then after sales, you, one, we could have one hell of a transfer window. Mikel Arteta and these boys have a big window ahead of them, and we need to further close the gap. But Manchester City are aware. They're on notice. They know they have to start improving themselves or else they're going to. Yeah, Arsenal is not only going to catch up to them, we could overtake them. And as the Manchester City captain said... When he said we've got the message and we... we yeah. They've got the message. And yeah, let me know, guys, what you think. Let me know what you uh, if you if you if you let me know what you guys think. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the video, and of course, let me know if you when you hear Kyle Walker and of course Pep Guardiola say these things. Do you start to believe that this Arsenal team not only will catch City and go on to win the league in the in in the uh, forthcoming season, but they're slightly worried that their grips of the Premier League is slipping away from them. That's how I view it. But yeah, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys on the next video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, subscribe, and please do like the video. Peace out, people.